welcome to my channel Light as a Feather Tarot. This is a birthday reading for the sign of Ophiuchus. Now I know Ophiuchus isn't officially a zodiac sign, but I like to do these bonus readings. So this will be anyone that has a birthday around November 17th to about, no, I'm sorry, November 28th to December 17th. Don't quote me on the dates. Um, but if you want to know more about Ophiuchus, then go ahead and Google it. Um, it's actually a star constellation. So this will be for some of my Scorpio friends and some of my Sagittarius friends. So I am actually an Ophiuchus. My birthday is December 6th. So yay, happy birthday, Ophiuchus. I hope it's a wonderful one. I hope it's safe. So now you guys know this is a general reading. So please take the messages that resonate. Leave the messages behind that don't fit. So let's get into your channeled messages. So when I was channeling for you guys, spirit showed me like a dark sky with like shooting stars, but instead of just one star, it was like several. So I feel like you guys have been either feeling stuck or you've been wanting something new, something fresh to come in, whether it's a job, whether it's a, ro a romantic partner, but I, I feel like you guys want something new to come in. Um, I feel like you guys are going to have multiple options come in, multiple options, opportunities coming into your life. Um, you may have been experiencing some type of past loss or disappointment, um, but I definitely see good news coming in. Some of you are actually waiting on news. So, Ophiuchus, those are the messages that I got for you guys. And I've been meaning to get this reading out, but I'm working... <laughs> I am working on my uh, on my master's degree, so it got pretty intense with uh, with, with papers back to back. So I was like, "Well, self care, right?" So, spirit, what messages for Ophiuchus? What messages for Ophiuchus? So you have man holding heart. So for some of you, if it resonates. There's some type of a uh, love offer coming in, male or female. Some type of heartfelt offer, some type of uh, something that's very genuine. You know, it could be uh, like a generosity, but there's definitely, you know, romance coming in here for some of you. Spirit, what additional messages for Ophiuchus? Ooh, you have Angel of Balance. Love that. So, yeah, there's definitely some balance that's going to be coming in, too. I just got two cards because I know some people aren't focused on love. So, Spirit, what Law of Attraction does... Law of Attraction card does Ophiuchus need to know? All right, you have Ambition. So, I am ambitious and do not procrastinate or waste my time being negative. Nice. That's a good energy to have, especially, you know, with manifesting and, you know, like attracts like. What is your energy attracting? And I just saw the sun uh, card at the bottom of the deck. So, you know, are you guys focused on bringing in happiness, joy, bliss, clarity? Um, let's see. So, Spirit, what messages for Ophiuchus? <clears throat> All right. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So we have the, the Empress here. So some of you actually could be trying to conceive. If you are, this this your birthday season will be a, a pretty good time if you're trying to um, have a baby. Um, for others of you, this speaks about abundance. This is a very creative energy as well. It's a very fruitful energy, yeah. So some of you could be already pregnant if, if you don't know already. Um, with the Ace of Cups and the Empress here, you know, this is about some type of new beginning, some type of um, you feeling like your heart feeling so full with the Ace of Cups here, you know, feeling very fulfilled. Oh, ooh, hold on. Cards off the table. I feel like for some of you guys, there's some type of commitment coming in here too, making something official. So if this isn't about having a baby <clears throat> there's still this energy coming in that is very uh very fruitful very abundant coming in your way there's some type of 
new beginning that it just makes your heart feel very full. And some of you guys are making something official that's going to bring you uh, more stability, right? It's going to bring you more, more stability. You know, some of you may be holding on to your finances right now, you know, holding on for a rainy day. But there's definitely there's some type of commitment coming in here um, that you're <clears throat> you're going to feel very focused, very passionate about it. There's, you know, the Queen of Wands, this both of these energies still have a lot of creativity to them. Whatever comes in is going to be just it's going to be fair. It's going to um, it's going to bring balance into your life. You know, maybe after a time of conflict, whether it was inner conflict, external conflict with people arguments disagreements look there's that new beginning right there this is this could be a new job this could be a promotion so i, I just see new <laughs> beginnings everywhere some of you could be you know dealing with the with the law or the legal system as well if you've been dealing with any type of you know backstabbing energy or any type of low vibrational energy don't worry about it like it, it like this card says right here don't worry about the negative people. Don't worry about, you know, people like that. You know, my guides just said, misery loves company. Like, this is not misery right here with these cards. So Spirit, can you clarify the Empress? So whatever you guys are creating, whatever, whatever you're focused on right now, um, it, I mean, the, the sun is going to shine upon it. You know, the sun is about happiness, joy, bliss, the bottom of the deck. You know, some of you could be buying a new home too. But there's some type of stability that is coming into your home life. Some of you could be mother figures already. Spirit, what additional messages? I feel like you guys are going to be released from some type of burden, some type of obstacles. You know, this could represent bills, debt, anything that's holding you down, weighing you down. Like the sun is going to shine a light upon that dark time, right? That situation, that person. And I feel like you're really gonna be able to, to be in your element. You're gonna be able to create. You're gonna be able to thrive and grow, right? Spirit just said rebuild. So what about this Ace of Cups? What is this? Yeah, so <laughs> channel messages, new beginnings, new beginnings, something new coming in. For some of you, this is a new relationship. And how do I say this? Um, this kind of points to like y'all having like a very steamy relationship very um very attracted to this person but there's there's this very passionate energy like this is this is beautiful like i'm excited for you guys not only do you have balance con balance coming into your life but those of you that are open to love you have a genuine offer coming in you know if you're already with this person you know maybe they're gonna you know, ask you to marry them. You know, it's around that time where people are trying to be strategic and, you know, maybe they're trying to make the moment very memorable. Um, Spirit just said, don't ask. So for the, some of you that are asking, like, hey, when are you gonna wanna, when are you going to, when are you going to? Spirit just said, stop asking. <laughs> um, it's coming. So there's, there's a lot of messages here for a lot of different people's uh, situations. Yeah, so whatever this whatever these new opportunities that come in, these new beginnings, you know, you're going to feel uh very successful. You know, people are going to be applauding you. You know, spirit is showing me like a wedding ceremony ceremony. I'm sorry. Um it's just a very like abundant happy time. So, you know, for some of you it could be an actual wedding, it could be a baby. For others of you it's some type of celebration. You know, you could be celebrated like this for your birthday. Um, but there's definitely, I feel like at least two opportunities coming in here for you guys. And, you know, I feel that 
Spirit just said written in the stars. You know, I feel like this is guided to you by the universe. You know, this card could represent a father figure or authority figure, but this card to me also represents the universe. And I feel that, you know, it could represent someone older in your life that you look up to, but there's definitely, you know, celebration coming in here. Celebrations, gatherings, um, eating together, enjoying each other, you know, a soul bonding with uh, the two of cups here. I feel like for those of you that are with this this person, whether he's coming in or he's in your life, this new love, maybe um, the love is ascending or going to the next level. Um, whoever this older person in it, in your life that resonates with you, they support your union. You know, they support this new beginning. So let's look at the four of pentacles. Ooh. And like I said, if it's not romantic, you can apply it to your life how you see fit. I mean, there's success coming in here. There's some type of soul connection. It doesn't have to be romantic. It could be platonic. It could be a, you know, a new business relationship. Um, but whatever this new beginning is, you know, it is definitely going to affect your stability. And you're going to be able to build. Some of you could be learning something new from someone else or a group of people or institution but this is about building this is about expanding and look at this the ace of cups yet again so if you get a new job you're gonna you're gonna be excited you're gonna be passionate about learning whatever you're learning you're gonna feel very fulfilled this commitment coming in here man so i'm so excited for you guys I feel like some of y'all could have been in a toxic work environment and maybe you didn't feel appreciated and this new opportunity, whether it's a new a new job, a promotion, transferring departments, whenever wherever you move to, they are going to appreciate you. They are going to value you. You have rainbow. The most difficult part of the situation is over. Rainbows to me to me represent harmony, you know? A very peaceful time so just know whatever diff difficulties that you know you did have you have cracked cup dis dissatisfied with life that's that's in the past that is in the past that that cup is broken there's nothing that you can do um, to fix it I guess you could glue it together but it's like hey you know the universe is providing you with a new cup you know a, a cup that is solid that has a really good strong foundation you have elephant here a long journey either physical or mental will leave you wiser at the end you know for some of you this is a long time coming you're just like i've been watching these tarot videos and they always say new beginning and where is the new beginning hey i understand i'm ophiuchus too i feel you so this is what the energies are presenting to me i definitely see some beautiful things look at this happiness just flew out definitely see some beautiful things coming in for you guys for you for you guys for me <laughs> so i'm excited <laughs> look at this bell announcement you know some of you are going to be announcing spirit is showing me a gender reveal maybe it's a it's an engagement um maybe you're making things official and you know, Spirit just said, maybe you're changing your LinkedIn. You've been at a company for a long time and you're switching jobs. Um, and at the bottom of the deck, you have success. So, wow, very beautiful reading, guys. Please comment below. Let me know how these messages are resonating. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, if you could please hit the bell notification. I have a smaller channel. I'm growing. Uh, thanks to you guys supporting me so much. That way you'll receive a notification whenever I post videos. So yeah, I hope you guys take care, be safe, and until next time.